Hi there, and welcome to the Start a Business Guide for um, LLCs in Washington. I'm just going to show you quickly how to register with the Secretary of State. Um, this main page here that I just navigated to is uh, just to sort of generally go over the various um, steps that you need to take. Um, that being said, there there's a uh, more detailed tutorials link throughout here that you can uh, take a look at. Uh, there is an online filing system uh, with the Washington Secretary of State, and if you have the opportunity to use it, uh, I certainly recommend that you should because it's um, it's pretty well designed actually. So uh, filing is $180 if you're filing by PDF or through the mail, and $200 if you're filing online. First step to filing is of course choosing a name. Um, once you have a name chosen, you're going to want to perform a business entity search just to make sure that that name is available for use in Washington. Now, of course, this isn't a, uh, isn't a required step, and they have it um, sort of integrated into the online filing system uh, if you do plan on filing online. That being said, it's, it's a good idea to perform one of these just to make sure that the name you're planning on using won't be rejected uh, when you actually register your business. Um, also, you might want to reserve your name if you need additional time with which to file. Uh, the state grants uh, business owners 180, 180 days, uh, and it costs $30. Uh, once you've got your name chosen, you're going to be able to um, si uh, navigate to the Secretary of State uh, website and begin the online registration portal for uh, uh, LLCs. Um, also, domestic um, LLCs will be able to download uh, the certificate of formation and file through the mail if they like. So let's go to the domestic LLC page here, or our tutorial anyway, and you'll see that yeah, the online system is pretty straightforward. There aren't too many steps involved in registering, and uh, the PDF filing system is sort of the same. You can download the PDF here and fill out all the information you need. Once the forms have been complete, you're going to need to pay the filing fee. So if you're filing online, uh, as I said, $200. If you're filing in the mail, $180. And those using the online portal will pay by credit card, and those um, filing through the mail will pay by check or money order made up to the Secretary of State, and they'll send their filing fee and filing form to this address here. Uh, another thing to do after the fact uh, if you're a domestic LLC, that is, is apply for an employer identification number. Um, you're going to need this if you plan on hiring employees and if you're going to have, have to pay withholding taxes or withheld taxes on them. Um, without one, you're going to be pretty limited in what you're going to be able to do as an entity. So uh, you can navigate here, find a little bit more, and to learn how to apply both online and through the form SS4. Also, you might want to draft an operating agreement. This is essentially just to organize the internal affairs of your business. There's a lot of things that you're gonna be able to relay on uh, in this document, and once it's completed, you're gonna have all of the managing members sign off on it uh, and to, um, to agree to its terms. So let's take a look at it here. You can download our free template just as I did now. Uh, by clicking on the Adobe PDF for the MS Word link, and you're gonna get access to a form that looks like this. And you're gonna be able to enter in all this information into these fields to so say, you know, this wouldn't be listed anywhere else. Um, you know, each member and their percentage of inter interest in the company. Um, I won't go through the whole thing, of course, but you can see how that would be valuable, um, the draft, at least at a certain point. Uh, during your uh, LLC formation process. Uh, finally, renewal LLCs are required to renew each year. Uh, they'll do so at the Business Licensing Center, um, and you're going to need a an online account with the Department of Revenue filing system. Uh, when you do renew, uh, it'll cost you $71, and you'll be able to pay that by credit card online. All right, I hope this was helpful. Good luck, guys.